Good morning. This is Mr. Byrne here. I'm doing a couple of quick tutorials here on how to integrate technology into the classroom. So um, we're starting with how to capture your screen. Um, so basically what you're going to do is um, you're going to, so right here, split screen. I'm going to show you how to do this, but um, it's pretty simple. If you go over here, open up your finder window, which is a little smiley face guy here, you're going to open up a QuickTime player. When you do that, it's going to redirect you and it will say QuickTime player at the top here. When you have this, it gives you a couple of options. Um, click on file. You can new movie recording. So this is great for when you want to record yourself, when you want to um, you know, it's great. I use it for sub plans all the time. So that way I can continue education in the classroom um, and not have to really worry about the, the sub not knowing the content area as well as I do. Um, you can also do audio recordings. Um, this is great for leaving messages and things like that. Um, and then what we're doing right now is this screen recording. So you're able to see everything that's on my screen. And as a, a media teacher, this is great because I can do tutorials and things like that. Um, and I can uh, incorporate both these things into my, my classroom environment, which is fantastic. So that's really e so it's pretty easy to do those things. Um, so we're just going to get out of this really fast and back to the internet. So um, you notice we have a split screen here, which is great. Um, as a teacher, sometimes you want to have two windows open so you can pull content from one area into your um, lessons that you're creating and things like that. Um, we're going to cover really quick here five things you need to know about your MacBook and then um, some helpful keyboard shortcuts. Just some quick things I can show you really fast. So let's start with this. So um, let's go back to this. We have the full screen here. Um, all right, five things you need to know about your MacBook. Number one, uh, the command key is the same as the control key um, on a PC. So like me, I started with PCs and they handed me a Mac and I went, what am I doing with this thing? So that's the first thing you need to know. The second, you can screen capture, like I said. Um, so this is a little different. So say you want to copy everything that's on your, your screen. Um, that you want to incorporate into a lesson somehow. It's really simple. The keyboard shortcut is Command Shift 4. So I'm going to do that here and you're going to hear the camera go off. Command Shift 4. I'm oh, sorry, I apologize. Escape. Command Shift 3 is how you do just the whole screen. And if you want to do, like, say, I want to do just this slide, I can do Command Shift 4. And then it gives me this little crosshairs, and I can actually say I want just this. And it sends my screenshots to my desktop. So here they are. So here we have the, the screenshot of everything that was on the screen, and here we have the screenshot of just a slide. Now you have these in a JPEG format, which you can incorporate into your presentations, which is really cool. Sometimes you just want to pull easy content over and make it simple. Um, to delete things. You simply have to highlight them, click on them, or you can hit Command. So I'm going to hold down the Command key and I can select these two items. And I'm just going to dump them into my trash can here because I don't need them anymore. All right, um, so screen capturing, we covered that. Number three, um, you can screen record. That's what we're doing right now. Um, like I said, this is a great option for sub plans. And then number four, your, Mac, your MacBook has AirDrop capabilities which means if you have other Mac products, you can send large files instantly. I'm going to actually stop this portion of the video and switch over to the um, one where you can actually see me. I'm going to show you how the airdrop works here in just a moment. And then um, the last thing, how to do a split screen, like I was talking about just a minute ago. This is super cool. Um, okay, so let's see. I'm going to pull out my classroom. We're going to cover classroom later today as well. So now I have two different tabs open. So... If I want to switch between the two, um, all you have to do to get split screen is is grab the the green icon here and actually just hold it down. And you notice there it goes. It just kind of uh, sinks in a little bit and just drag it over to one side and you'll see that it highlights half the screen. And then if you have other apps open, you'll be like, nope, I want it to be split screen with this one. So boom, we have split screen. We're ready to roll. All right, so I'm going to stop this really fast. I'm going to switch over to the other capture so I can show you how the airdrop works. 
So right now I'm actually making a movie. Um, so go, again, going to QuickTime, you'll see at the top of the screen, in the upper left-hand corner of your screen, it'll say QuickTime, you go to File, and you can actually click on My Movie and make that. So what I wanted to show you was something called AirDrop. AirDrop is really cool, especially when you have um, content you want to take from a device such as an iPhone or an iPad. Um, you can send large files over instantly. Um, this is really cool too because if you have another person that has an iPhone and you're at, say, an event like a football game and you guys take a picture together and you want to instantly share it, you can do it through AirDrop like that. You don't need to have um, any internet connection, um, just the two devices connecting to each other, which is really cool. Okay, so I want to send this picture of the leaf, this little leaf bug I took a, a picture of the other day, and I want to send it to my computer. So in order to do that, I'm going to do my best to kind of show you here upside down. Um, so right at the top of the screen here, let it get focused here. You'll see that it has a little icon that has the share icon. It's like a square with an arrow going up, and it's right here. So I'm going to push that. And then you have some options on there. See, so we're selecting that one to send. And once I've done that, I'm going to click on, on Next, which is up here. And then we have some options here. And you'll notice at the very top one right there, it says AirDrop, and it says JB. So I have AirDrop turned on on my, my uh, computer here, and I also have AirDrop turned on here, and I've allowed them to connect to each other, and I click on the JB, and it sends the image over to my computer. Let's see. There we go. And you heard a little beep, so now that image is on my computer. I can use it, integrate it into my presentations or lessons or anything just like that, that simple. If you have questions, let me know. Okay, so this kind of the, the third part of this is the keyboard shortcuts. So uh, a couple, there's some really cool things that you can use. I'm going to give you a resource that has a bunch of other ones. These are ones that I commonly use, so I, I just thought I'd take a moment and share them with you. Um, so let's go back to the full screen here so you can see the presentation well. Um, okay, keyboard shortcuts. Um, so a lot of people are familiar with these, but sometimes you just want to copy and paste things without doing the right clicking. And keyboard shortcuts will make your life um, a lot easier and things will go faster. So say I want to take all of this content here, so I'm just going to create a new slide here really fast. We'll go with the blue, and we need to insert a text box. There we go. Okay, so say I want to take this information here and I wanted to paste it somewhere else onto this slide, for example. Um, so I'm going to... Um, use command A, command plus A, and it's going to select everything within that box. Once I've done that, command C, I flip over to the new slide, and then command V, I was able to paste everything in there. So command C, command V are very useful. But say, oh, I didn't want to do that. I don't want to go through the process of deleting everything. Um, all you got to do is hit command Z, undo. Boom, it's gone. So I can actually step back quite a few steps, which is really cool. Um, this is something good to note. Your scholars probably know this one. But say I want to just get rid of everything that's on here. Um, I'm in class. I'm a scholar, and I'm looking at something I shouldn't be looking at or and when I should be focusing on something. And uh, the teacher walks by, and I go, Command-M. It's gone, just like that. That's simple. Um, it minimizes it. And if I had the background up here, that's all you would see. Um, so just be aware of that one, which is cool. But it's also good just to kind of quickly go between apps and things like that. Okay, so bring that back up. Um, so Command-P, this is a great one for uh, print current document. So over here I have um, a tab open and it has a bunch of Mac um, keyboard shortcuts. This is the resource I'll be giving you tomorrow. But say I wanted to print this um, on this web page, Command-P, just like that. And we have, there you go. You can print it up. It's going to load the preview here. There you, there you have it. All right, back to this. So let's cancel out of that really fast. Cancel. All right, Spotlight Search. So say you want to find a resource with, on your computer super fast and you don't want to go, go searching for it. Um, command plus spacebar, and you get the Spotlight Search. Um, so I just uh, changed the uh, backdrop or um, desktop image on my thing. It's a picture of a sunflower I took in Missouri over the summer. So I'm going to put it in sunflower. Boom, there it is. I can click on it, and then I can easily use it for whatever I need. So that's a good search option there. Um, Again, I was a PC user switching over to a Mac, and um, sometimes you just want to stop everything. You just want to stop whatever you're doing um, and just restart the computer. Um, so you do have a force quit option. You actually have two options for this. I'm going to show you the, um, the easiest one is option command escape, 
And so let's do that. Option Command Escape. And then it brings up the force quit application. And then you can say which things that you want to force quit. The, f the escape button is in the upper left hand corner. Took me a second there to find it. Uh, but there you go. The other option is to go up here to the little Apple icon and you also have your force quit right there as well. And we'll bring up that same dialog box. Boom, there you go. All right, hit me up if you have any questions. And uh, next up we're gonna be looking at um, iMovie.